Right, good morning guys. You join me here today at Bank End Fisheries. Um, we do, all we're going to do today is just do a bit of maggot feeder fishing. Um, I've got two pints of maggots, all coloured, um, different colours, red, white, so we've even got some, some bronze in there, some yellows in there. So we're just going to do a bit of maggot feeder fishing. Um, perfect venue to do it on. Obviously it's winter time, it's uh, getting into them colder months. You don't need loads of bait, so we're just going to give it a whirl today. So I'll just talk you through my setup. So basically, I've got a 10 foot parabolic feeder rod. Absolutely perfect, loads of soft action for these skimmers or whatever you're going to be catching, perch, roach, stuff like that. If we do walk a carp, it's got that power in the butt anyway, just to give us a bit of um, confidence that we can get it in. So basically I've got that with a small 4,000 reel that's got a six pound line on and basically all we've got up is the setup is um, sliding fleet feeder link to two stops and then I've got a twizzle boom there and then just me up length I'm starting on a shortish up length and then what I'll probably I mean what's that probably um, I don't know maybe 50 centimeters and then I'll be and then I'll be because I'm fishing a maggot feeder and that maggots are going through the water column all the time then I'll probably uh, extend that maybe up to two foot um, and that's it really six pound line this is a 014 bottom fluorocarbon and then just to a four I've got a big issue hook on so I've gone for a size 14 um, Kazan hook from Guru and they seem to be perfect it's barbless here anyway so that's it I've got one of these um, old school maggot feeders on with the bottom it's like uh, remember the old black caps and it's just a cap on the bottom you just scoop them up so I'm using that first that's a 15 gram I've also got like a little window feeder um, which is you just move that and it uh, caps off like a maggot feeder so I've got them both um, ready to go if we need them so I'm only going to be fishing what maybe about 25 meters out into the middle there's an area here to just to me uh, right hand side so I know that there's going to be some nice you know it's going to be a nice flat bottom with the area to go in and stuff like that it's not going to be too silty or anything like that so I'm going to fish in line with it um, and we're just going to keep uh, it going in and hopefully we'll start catching some some nice skimmers perch whatever we can catch really maybe we'll get a few carp moved in but that's the setup anyway um, very simple and we're just going to give it a go, see what can happen. I have done as well some um, floating maggots. I forgot my tub today, they keep crawling out. Normally I have a tub on with a lid on. But today I've just got these floating maggots. All you do is just get some pop, uh, just some fizzy pop, pour it on the ma on the maggots, and then these um, these float, basically. Um, I know a lot of people use water and stuff like that, but you've got to use fizzy pop. I think it's like the soda in them, and they obviously crawl in the soda, and then they start to float. So it's a good addition um, to slip a couple of them off, and then it falls slower in the water when it's going down, and you get that quicker bite. So that's it, really. Very simple today. Let's see how we get on. Um, I'm dying to have a cast in and see what we can catch. So uh, let's get going. Oh, 
lots of bites. And they took the old rodder stuff. I would say, you know, looking at that bite, it's probably a small roach or something like that because it uh, didn't half pull rod off, off at rest. And it is a roach. Look at that, just swingable. Oh, there we are. Lovely small roach. About three ounce, something like that. Let's try these uh, floating maggots again. Just up to one upside down. And just uh, repeat the process, keep filling your maggot feeder up. Dunk it so it stuns the uh, maggots. And then straight over as a marker. My marker is that uh, tree there. And, and I've gone a little bit to my right. Which is like I said, just in line with the aerator. See if them roach have moved in. Lovely and warm now. Just a nice uh, way to uh, fish this in in the winter time. You know, keep keep it going in. Keep it's fast and furious in the ready money round, isn't it? What's that offer? Catchphrase. Nope, nothing that chuck. Keep changing your bait every time you come in. Keep that fresh bait on. I know it's probably not even being touched sometimes, but I always put fresh bait on every time in winter. I mean, it's summer. You know, I get away with using a maggot three or four times or whatever, but. I think in winter, you got to have that fresh bait on. Right, this seems a better fish. Just on that maggot feeder, just, we're just chucking it in line with that uh, aerator. So I think there's some uh, mm, nice skimmer, I think. Oh, 
swallowed it. Must have been a good bite. So yeah, just chucking it in mine with that aerator. Nice skimmer there, isn't it? What's that? Pound, something like that. Um, it's quite slow at the moment. We're just getting the odd bite every now and then. Um, I've had a couple of roach and a, and a skimmer and what have you, fishing double maggot. Just on a little maggot feeder. Dip it before it goes out. Hit the clip. And we're just watching it go down because sometimes you can get a bite on the drop. So we'll just let it go down. It's quite deep here. Got about a seven, seven second count. And then just pull it tight, make sure it's tight up to the feeder so you've got all that slack line up. Yeah, it's stuck there. So we just wind it back down on his rod rest. And there we go. See if we can get another one of them brain. It's a lovely crisp morning, quite cold to be honest. Um, oh, tuck this in. So I thought I'd just come out uh, with a mate, Alan. He's next door. He's having a go on feeder, see if we can uh, get some practice in. And we thought we'd just, um, I've got a couple of pints of maggots, just mixed maggots. And uh, I thought I'd just give him a quick quick try on this maggot feeder seems to be uh, quite a lot of skimmers in here so maybe a ground bait feeder would have been better but I'm just gonna have a go on this today I've got two pints of maggots like I say I've got to use them up so we'll see how we get on a little twitch then. I like to give it round about a minute where I've not touched or moved the feeder and if I don't get any indications or anything like that what I'll do is I'll just grab hold of the line and twitch it twitch it back so it moves the feeder and then just wind back down and just get your line tight. It's just so you're creating that cloud under water by just moving the feeder and hopefully it'll entice them to just, you know, take your bait because they think that they're going to lose it or something like that and um, sometimes you get a bite on the, um, once you've moved your feeder. Oh, just had another little knock then. Getting odd little knock, just little taps. I'm not striking at them, I'm waiting until I get at least a double a double tap together. But that last bite off that bream, well that small, that uh, bigger skimmer, it, uh, it didn't half take the rod round, so it were a good bite. So I'm getting it about three, four, three to four minutes of cast. And I'm, I'm moving it twice in that time, so I'll leave it for a minute, then I'm twitching it. And if I'm not getting a bite after three or four minutes, then I'm bringing it in and chucking it out in the same spot again.
We'll just twitch it again. No, no bite this time, so we'll bring it out, chuck it back out again. So every three or four minutes. Let's have a look at the bait. I'm always putting fresh bait on as well. If it looks damaged, obviously because it's winter time, you want to keep the bait fresh. Double red, sometimes white and a red. I'm just mixing it up really. dip it before it goes out, that stuns the maggots and then just casting hit the clip keep everything tight, put your rod down so I'm just feeling, feeling it on you because sometimes you can get a, a bite on the drop or as soon as it hits bottom and then we're just tightening up until your feeder until your line's tight on the bottom there we go and then we're just popping it back on rod rest So as you can see with this sort of style of fishing, I'm not using a, a, a rod rest like um, So with this style of fishing, I'm not using a butt rest for my rod, I've got it on my knee um, and, and it's because you're going to get them bites hopefully very quickly um, If I were waiting on bites and proper bream fishing then obviously I'd use a butt rest and just leave it there until you get a proper indication and it and it goes round but with this it should be you know quite quick fast bites that you're looking at um, you know if you get a small tap then I'm leaving it but you want that double tap and that's hard to read them really you get a double tap and it goes again then that's when I'd strike Right, it's been in about a minute now, so we're just going to twitch it again. And we're going to put him back down. Normally you get a bite straight away. Oh, it's a bit cold today.
Now I've done some floating maggots, but I forgot my tub that's got the lid on, and uh, they seem to be escaping. So we'll try a floating maggot on the next cast. See if that um, entices a fish. That's a bite. Oh, that's a that were a proper bite that as well. Oh, I think it. No, it's still on. Oh, I don't I think this is a carp. Feels big. That just steadily went, sailed round. A lovely bite, to be honest. Just try and keep his gun up that side, so we just change direction. Now he's coming in the middle, he's slacking off that drag a little bit just in case it is a uh, carp. No, I think it's not. It... Oh. oh, I don't know what it is. Took a bit of line then. Oh, bring on the stripies. Look at that for a lovely perch. That. <laughs> what a fantastic fish. Thought that were a carp as well. Look at that for a perch. Great fish to catch. Oh, won't mind catching them again. Well, that were a great, great bite, that. Right, and took the rod straight round. And I thought, I thought it were a carp, but just shows you, doesn't it, that you can catch all sorts on this, uh, this maggot feeder. So we just, two, two maggots on there, and we're just filling it up. Oh, we were gonna try a, a, a couple of floating ones, aren't we? Let's just do that. Got a bit, uh, too excited when I caught that big perch. Try two floating maggots. So again, just dip it before you cast it out. Just sh shocks all them maggots so they don't wrinkle out. And we're just following it down now. Sometimes, like I said, you get that bite on the drop. Not had one this time, and then you just pull it back over to your rod rest. Keep your line tight. There we go. So yeah, I was saying that I, norm I normally have my floating maggots in a uh, bait up with a lid on. And I forgot it today, so I've just put them in there and they keep bumming crawling out everywhere, so... It'll have to do. And all we've done with them is just put some fizzy pop on them. So I, had, I got some Lucasaid this morning. Um, and that's how you make them float, you just put a bit of Lucasade on them, make your maggots float. And it must be the soda or something in them what, um, what they suck up and wriggle in and it um, makes them float. Because you can do it with water and it makes them a little bit buoyant, but um, with the fizzy pop, any sort of pop, Lucasade or Pepsi or something like that, that's what you want on. Um, and it uh, the soda and it just makes them makes them float. Just had a little knock then. So we're getting odd bite now. We're getting it's just nice to see that there's a few fish turned up and there's uh, odd bite. Won't mind catching a few more of them big perch.
the robins back. Feed him a few maggots, eh? Right, let's see if we can twitch it again. Did that perch come after a twitch? I think it did, didn't it? Tip's just flown round, and I think a carp has moved in. So let's just see if we can uh, get him out. Yeah, it's definitely a carp. Fighting well. Just take your time. I've only got, uh, well, 014. It's not too bad to be honest. I've had carp out on 012 and 010 before, so we should be alright. And it's um, strong walk, isn't it? Unless it's a big perch, be nice, wouldn't it? I do like to put him on drag, though. I know a lot of people like backwinding and all sorts, but I do like playing him on drag. And I put my middle finger, excuse me, on the drag, just to. Uh, Give that bit of uh, that's we're fighting well. See if we can see it. Right, let's get these back, shall we? Oh, that water's cold. Put them in here, show you what we've got. There we are. Well, we've had a lovely day catching roach, skimmers, perch look at these perch look at that perch got a couple of nice skimmers in there as well yeah so we've had some lovely fish some perch some roach some nice skimmers um we've got probably about seven pound there so just shows you just having a short session on that maggot feeder throwing it in all the time and uh, yeah get good results so we'll get these back and uh, call it an evening Everyone's a swimmer. Right, that's it. What an absolute fantastic day we've had. We've had bream, we've had skimmers, we've had a lovely big perch, we've had loads of roach. It's been a fantastic day. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, just keep it simple. Two pints of maggots, go out there, keep it going in all the time. You know, once it once it hits the bottom, give it a twitch, make sure you pull it tight. Slacken off your line and then just wait for the double bite as it goes round. That's as simple as I can I can say it really. Keep it going in all the time. Like I say, you're fishing maggots, you're fishing 
it's winter time so I'm, I'm only leaving it for um, three or four minutes before I bring it back in chuck it in again and then just alternative keep using them floating maggots alternative uh, double double maggot single maggot you know hook them upside down and um, put one maggot on um, as you put it up the hook so there's a lot of different ways that you can keep bringing the changes and, and just keep getting them bites coming um, and they have putting them uh, floating maggots in have, has make it a difference so just keep just keep casting in like I said every three or four minutes and um, and it's kept them fish coming so fantastic day hope you enjoyed these videos thanks for watching and we'll see you next time keep on bagging